The AI market just detonated again, new models dropping left and right, timelines overflowing with glossy demos, and while everyone's staring at the usual giants, the most ruthless progress I'm seeing right now is coming out of China. Today, I'm putting one of those models in your hands. With it, we're pushing past that eerie, almost real look. Skin texture, hair detail, glass reflections, fabric micro creases. And yes, I'll also show you how to get clean, watermark-free results, and then turn those images into long, cinematic video loops. Free, unlimited, legal. I've got something you'll actually use. We're building a series of free PDFs with my strongest AI tools and too good for YouTube workflows. You can unlock them for free by supporting the channel through our Discord. Watch the video, tap like, subscribe, and leave a positive comment. Then take one screenshot that shows all three. Inside the server, you'll see the simple channel that explains how to upload that proof, so our bot gives you the PDF automatically. Also in the Discord, you'll find every link for today's setup, and the exact prompts I'm using, so you can copy, paste, and ship without hunting. The model is Dreamina, and it hits that sweet spot where portraits stop looking plasticky and environments feel photographed, not rendered. When a face finally escapes the uncanny valley, it's because the small cues line up. Micro noise on skin believable catch lights, flyaway hairs that don't clump, jewelry that doesn't melt into cheeks. Dreamina tracks those cues under hard light, soft light, mixed color temps, so you can push your compositions without the usual artifacts. To access this new Dreamina image model, you'll need a VPN. I use NordVPN, and I left my link in the description and inside the Discord if you want to use the same one. Once it's installed, select Algeria as your location. Refresh the page, hit sign in, and you're in, creating safely and generating images for free and unlimited. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to squeeze maximum power out of this tool. Stick with me, because after that, I'll show you how to remove watermarks and turn these stills into video. First, let's explore what it can do across real production use cases. Then we'll come back to that watermark and animation workflow. I start with photoreal portraits because that's where most models fail. I build a tight head and shoulder shot with raking light from the left, a cool rim from the right, shallow depth of field, and just enough film grain to feel like a sensor rather than a render. The pores hold, the eyelashes separate, the eyes don't go glassy. Then I raise the difficulty. Messy hair, textured fabric, reflective earrings, a hand partially in frame. Dreamina stays stable, without mutating fingers or inventing extra teeth, which is exactly what you need for brand work and paid projects. Next, I go wide and cinematic. Picture a storm-lit shoreline where a chrome-plated titan walks out of the sea. The air is full of salt spray. A streak of lens flare cuts the frame. Goals hover mid-gust. Then jump to a rain-soaked cyberpunk crossing. Neon reflections stretching across black pavement. Mist pooling at ground level. Distant signage blooming like sodium lamps. Finish with a bioluminescent reef city. Manta ray silhouettes gliding under glass tunnels. Cyan and magenta glows bleeding into the water. Keep everything 16 by 9 so it drops straight into your timeline without awkward crops. And lock your palette so cuts feel intentional. If you build products or ads, lean into Studio Logic. I simulate a softbox with a crisp key and a faint mist pass to lift the silhouette. A matte black bottle on wet basalt. A stainless watch on a graphite slab at 1010. A sneaker hovering over a sheet of brushed aluminum with a hard rim that kisses the heel tab. Food? Go macro. Blistered char. Cheese stretch. Bead-like droplets on lettuce. Texture sells in thumbnails because it compresses with bite. For identity pieces, give yourself a flag frame. A neon owl perched on a holographic branch. Scion fire tipping the wings. A blurred skyline behind it. Perfect for intros. Now, the part I promised at the start, removing watermarks and converting these images into video. I'm leaving every resource you need in the Discord and mirrored in the description, so you have them at hand. First option, simple and fast. I've linked a few online tools that remove watermarks from your own generated images. Upload the file and let the site process it. 
If any of those services are down or limited, here's the second option I've tested. Inside Meta's new guide, you can upload your image and ask it to recreate the exact same frame without the watermark. It returns four alternatives, so if one has a small artifact, you can pick the cleanest variant. Use this only for images you own or have permission to modify. To animate the cleaned image, stay in Meta's guide and switch to Create. Set the canvas to 16 to 9, upload your frame, and in the prompt, tell it to maintain the composition exactly as is. Toggle video, hit animate, and let it render. If you want a different motion path or a longer loop, regenerate until you like the look. Then use the extend control on the right to lengthen the clip. It's a quick way to turn stills into believable motion you can drop right into a timeline. Here's where most people stumble and waste hours. They try to bake tiny typography or complex UI into the generated image. Don't. Generate clean backgrounds, then lay real text in your editor for razor-sharp edges and accurate fonts. Another trap is overstuffing scenes with six ideas at once. Pick two heroes, the face and the prop, the product and the reflection, and let negative space breathe. That's where the expensive look comes from. Two pro moves that change everything. Imperfection equals realism. Micro scratches on metal, fingerprints on glass, a stitch line that isn't perfectly straight, a tie sitting a few millimeters off center. And lighting is your entire story. Decide on a rig, key, fill, rim, then write it like a photographer. Hard key from camera left, soft fill from right, cool back rim. That single sentence is the difference between a render and a photograph. On speed and stability, Dreamina feels like the tool I reach for when I need a board full of frames before lunch. A few seconds for simple shots, longer for dense scenes, but the hit rate stays high if you control your variables. If something breaks, don't nuke the prompt. Nudge one thing at a time. Simplify wardrobe, shift the light angle, remove a competing prop. That tight feedback loop is how you get consistent sets that cut together like a real shoot. Big picture, this is leverage. With Dreamina in your kit, you can storyboard the morning of, fill every gap with consistent visuals, and push a professional edit without burning credits on every experiment. That's how you publish more, iterate faster, and keep your budget focused on the pieces that truly need a human touch. Voice, story, timing. Everything I use today, the exact prompts, the timing notes for motion, the export presets, is ready for you in the Discord. The link to Dreamina and the NordVPN link I use are there as well. Watch to the end, hit like, subscribe, and drop a positive comment. Then, take one screenshot that shows all three and upload it in the channel I pinned so our bot unlocks the free PDF pack. We've crossed 3,000 builders already, and the best part of that community is seeing what you make with this stuff. You just picked up a new superpower, realistic assets on demand that you can animate into the spine of your videos, your brand, your ads. No budget panic, no waiting. Use it. And when you post your first sequence, tag me in the server. I want to see how far you push it.